you can wake up with the wine. Uh, I mean, coffee for morning or going to bed and, and drinking wine before she's going to bed. Hi everyone, I'm Yula Fanchenko and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about uh, lifestyle boudoir photography. Recently, we released a course on lifestyle boudoir photography. You can check it out on uh, Believe in Boudoir TV. Uh, I was the model for the course and we achieved a variety of beautiful images that you can also see uh, if you watch the course. So if you're interested, um, go to Believe in Boudoir TV and sign up for the course. Um, but today in this video we're going to briefly talk about uh, what lifestyle boudoir is and I'm going to show you um, a, demo, a short demo session. So lifestyle boudoir uh, is a very casual style of boudoir. It's, uh, it's for photographers who uh, don't have a studio and they can shoot at any location, can be Airbnb or hotel or even a client's house, even an office. So anything that is related to this lifestyle of the subject uh, you're photographing. So for example, today we are in this beautiful hotel and we'll take advantage of the space and I will just show you um, how I would do um, lifestyle in, in, in the hotel for example. So um, lifestyle, um, for example if I'm photographing a, a client who is um, she's a, a business owner for example and that's her lifestyle and she is a very classy and um, but she she's wearing a suit but she wants to look more sensual um, and we're doing the boudoir uh, photo session for her uh, I would go for for example even the the outfit that she would wear on a daily basis that would be a suit and I would um, ask her to bring a lingerie and add it to uh, the dress set so now let's uh, go over some uh, poses. I'll show you a posing flow. Um, uh, just wearing what I have. For example, if um, um, my client is a, a business lady, uh, I would ask her to bring a suit like this one and a, a beautiful set of lingerie. And I would start with the jacket on and then I will continue with uh, without jacket. Um, so. As a prop, here I have my notebook, uh, so I can utilize that as well. So let's start with a couple of poses, um, just uh, wearing the jacket. And again, uh, in terms of posing, poses have to be very, very casual. So nothing complicated, nothing difficult. Um, and just keep in mind the fundamentals of posing when you have to maybe uh, point the toes, bend one of the knee, create triangles, create negative space. So of course we have to keep in mind all of that. Uh, arching back. So from the pose like this one where I'm sitting and casually um, writing notes or reading a book or drinking coffee again it's up to you here with lifestyle boudoir you can always create a story so keep that in mind and you have to uh, shoot with an album in mind already because uh, how you want to start the session how you what kind of story you're creating with uh, all the images and how many images uh, or uh, from which set you're going to add on which spread so it's very important so uh, I would go with a couple of poses like this again very casual And we can take off the jacket and, and go for a little bit more boudoirish style. 
less casual, more sensual. And let's say I'll grab uh, my coffee. Continue with um, from pose uh, from sitting poses on the um, couch. I will continue with laying poses on the side. Uh, again, adding props uh, is very important because um, it just adds a story uh, to the photograph, to the final image. And with actually, when you're creating story, um, it, it, I think it's easier to move and to come up with interesting poses when, the story, when you have a story in mind. So from here, I was just showing you the movements, um, how I would go from one position to another. Um, so we started again from the sitting poses, now it's laying poses, poses on the side, and uh, we will move our subject. Um, uh, it's, it's going to be difficult for the camera to see, but um, you have to, if you're photographing, of course you have to change your angles and do a full body shot, a medium shot and close up shot. So I would position from here my subject uh, on her tummy and do more images of her from the angle, 45 degrees facing her, uh, focusing mainly on her beautiful facial features, on her breast, and if, let's say, she's wearing something different, no pants and just like an oversized uh, shirt, uh, that would be easier also to highlight the beautiful curves of her booty. So, um, again, you have to do it looking more casually, and to do so, um, we will direct our subject with more playful um, facial expressions, happy and playful, maybe a little bit naughty or flirting. So we're gonna actually bring the camera and position to the, um, to the angle where I would do the, uh, the photos. And I will do that one more time. Again, we can add a prop, could be a glass of wine instead of coffee, depending on the story. It's either she is waking up in the morning or going to before drinking wine before she's, no, you, can, <laughs> you cannot wake up with the wine. Uh, I mean, coffee for morning or going to bed and, and drinking wine before she's going to bed. Okay. And from here, um, I will continue with more poses um, sitting on the, on the actual um, couch. So we can actually uh, uh, capture a variety of beautiful poses here and extending legs, both of them, or one bent, uh, knee bent and one is uh, leg straight. So that would be my flow on the couch. Of course, you can come up with um, more images, more poses um, with casual, sorry, with lifestyle boudoir. Angles are very important. So uh, try to move yourself from one position to another. Uh, try to go for 
um, uh, shots from above, uh, so lots of close-up shots because facial expressions are very important for casual and lifestyle boudoir, so keep that all that in mind. Now I'm going to show you around and show the space that we're in right now and um, the space where we were doing the actual session for the course. Uh, but if you want to learn more, if you want to see how exactly uh, the life Boudoir, uh, lifestyle boudoir session should be, who it is for, um, uh, challenges that we faced, lighting that uh, you can use, uh, all that is on the course. So uh, please go to Believe in Boudoir TV and check out the course. Um, so let me show you around. Here's one of the rooms for our lifestyle boudoir photo session. It's pretty spacious, it's very vibrant, very beautiful colors and interesting furniture. So uh, definitely the couch uh, uh, works perfectly for uh, posing and for lifestyle boudoir session. Um, uh, the two chairs and the small table um, for coffee, um, for writing, for any story that you want to create and chair over here. This item over here I like the most. Uh, very <clears throat> easy um, and very good for posing like leaning against or sitting on it so variety of poses can be achieved uh, on this furniture item definitely definitely so let me show you the bedroom as well uh, so here's our spacious bedroom and of course if you're doing a boudoir session uh, a bed could be very um, useful uh, for that because so many poses can be done and achieved on the bed um, and big windows um, here we have two windows, so which actually makes the whole photo session very challenging. And we have um, automatic system to close blinds, uh, sorry, to close uh, curtains, uh, which makes it even more challenging because we have no control over which side we want to close and which side we want to keep open. Um, so uh, here is the outfit that I was using for the lifestyle boudoir session. So um, something that is oversized, like a, a very beautiful, casual um, uh, shirts. For example, here I have two shirts, white and black, uh, just to match uh, different uh, lingerie sets. This would work with this lingerie set the black with black and uh, this white shirt uh, would work with the green that i'm wearing right now so and this is what i'm actually going to wear for the session um, anything again it, it it shouldn't be um it shouldn't be very complicated. This item can be found in pretty much anybody's closet or if your client doesn't have a shirt like this one, um, she can borrow a shirt from uh, her significant other. So I'm pretty sure she can find one. Um, any t-shirts uh, like this one, a little bit bigger size as well. Uh, high waist uh, panties would work for a session for a casual uh, lifestyle boudoir because it's very um, comfortable to just um, work on variety of poses wearing this type of uh, underwear. Uh, what else do I have here? I think I covered everything. Um, this is just another extra shirt, t-shirt, sorry, that I have here. Um, also, these shirts and t-shirts are uh, perfect for poses with your subject wearing no lingerie at all and for example if she doesn't have a beautiful set of lingerie that's not a problem as long as she has a shirt or a t-shirt um, beautiful images can be captured uh, so keep that in mind on this side we have a balcony and balconies are great uh, for lifestyle boudoir uh, photo sessions
Uh, so it's uh, pretty spacious. And with the outlets that I just showed you, this space would work perfectly. Um, leaning against. Uh, also work with different angles to achieve different images. The only challenge that you may face is the light. So right now it's overcast, it's perfect, but if there is harsh light and if during the uh, daytime, maybe you'll be, uh, maybe your biggest challenge would be the split lighting that you will have to face and work with. So. We also have a very spacious bathroom here in this location. Uh, very beautiful bathtub, um, so lots of opportunities for photography and a spacious uh, shower. Oh, it's actually colorful and pretty and a lot of room in this shower. So um, photos through the glass uh, while taking a shower with lots of water and drops and fog and <clears throat> um, lots of cre creative images could be achieved just over here. So um, that's uh, another uh, setup that we had for the session. So that's uh, the space where uh, we were working to achieve a variety of beautiful uh, lifestyle boudoir images with me being a model for the shoot. I hope you enjoyed this short demo video. And if you wanna learn more about boudoir and nude photography, please go to uh, Believe in Boudoir TV and check on our uh, courses on boudoir and nude photography. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you next time, Believe in Boudoir.